Hello, and welcome to an Orange Coast College mathematics video. In this video, we're going to learn about factoring quadratic trinomials that have the form x squared plus bx plus c. The important part here is that the coefficient of the sort of the variable square term here is 1. This will be part 1. In the second video, quadratic trinomials part 2, we'll learn what to do if the coefficient of x squared is not a 1. To start, we want to look at a demonstration. Here we have a product of two binomial factors, and we want to see what happens when we use the distributive property to multiply these out. So using FOIL, right, first, outer, inner, last, you multiply x times x to get x squared, and then x times 3 to get plus 3x. Then the inner, we get negative 2 times x to get negative 2x. And then finally, we have the last, the negative 2 times positive 3. So we get negative 6. And if we look at the terms here, these two numbers, the two, negative 2 and 3, the constant term in this polynomial, if I simplify this, I get x squared plus x minus 6. The constant term was the product of these two numbers here, negative 2 and 3. And the coefficient of x was the sum of those two numbers, negative 2 and 3. And this gives us uh, an insight into what our strategy will be when we need to factor things that look like this. OK, let's check the steps that we would use to factor something that looks like x squared plus bx plus c. First step, if you have common factors, factor them out. That'll make your life a lot easier. Uh, it's always the first step whenever we want to factor any polynomial, factor out the GCF. And then we want to check that the coefficient of x squared is 1 here. And now what we're doing is we're looking for two numbers okay, whose product is the constant coefficient c and whose sum is the coefficient of x, which we write down as b here. okay. And once you know those two numbers, and to be clear, they may not exist. You may not be able to factor it. But if you can find those two numbers, then you're going to write the trinomial as a product of binomials x plus blank times x plus blank, where those two blanks are the two numbers you found in step two. And then finally, you can multiply this out and check your works. Basically, multiply this out and see, do you end up back where you started? Let's see an example. Here we have x squared plus 8x plus 12. So the way I start this is to write that this is equals to x, and I, and I leave blanks here. So I'm going to have two binomial factors here, but I'm going to leave blanks. Now, what goes in those blanks? We need to find two numbers whose product is 12 and whose sum is 8. And do take these signs into account. So positive 12 is the product and the sum of those two numbers would be positive 8. All right, well, so the answer is 6 and 2, right? 6 times 2 is 12, 6 plus 2 is 8. So we plug in to those blanks positive 6 and positive 2. And that's it. If you check your work, you'll see if you multiply that back out, you will get x squared plus 8x plus 12. Here we have a slightly more complicated example. So this doesn't quite fit our quadratic trinomial you know, mold that we had previously, the x squared plus bx plus c, because now we have two different variables. But the coefficient of the first variable here, a squared, is 1. So we can still use approximately the same technique. So normally what we would do is we would look for two numbers that multiply to give me the constant term and add up to give me the coefficient of, in this case, the variable, which is a. So the coefficient of a is actually negative 9b in this case. So we can do it like that. Or a way we could also do it is we can write out our two, quadra our two uh, binomials here. And just like before, we have a in this slot. And then in this slot, for each one, you're going to have a factor of b, because the last term is b squared, and also because the the coefficient of a has a factor of b in it as well. So what happens is we put a b here and here. And really, all we have to do is figure out what are the coefficients of b. And now it, it reverts back to being sort of a simpler problem. We're simply looking for two numbers whose product is negative 10 and whose sum is negative 9. Now, what two numbers are that? Well, negative 10 and positive 1 will have a product of negative 10 
and a sum of negative 9. And so you can just slot those two numbers in as the coefficients of b in each binomial. So one is negative 10, and the other is positive 1. I'm just not going to write the 1 there, but that's the idea. If you multiply this back out, you'll see that we end up exactly where we started. Here we have our final example. So the first thing we notice here is that you do have a common factor. Uh, each term is divisible by 3, and each term also has a common factor of u. So we can factor out from each term 3u. If we do that, what will we have left over? Well, for the first term, we will have negative 11u left over. For the second term, uh, 72 divided by 3 is 24. So we factor out the 3u, so we'll have just 24 there. And for the last term, we factor out the 3u, we'll have just u squared. Now, this step is not necessary, but I like to rewrite it. So u is the variable in this problem. I would like to rewrite that trinomial in the sort of standard quadratic order, right? Uh, the x squared term, then the x term, and then the constant term, but with u, obviously, in this problem. So you have u squared minus 11u plus 24, okay? Now we want to factor this trinomial. So again, how will it factor? It's going to be 3u, and then we want to write out our two binomial factors. So fill, write them out like this, and then we fill in the blanks. So we're looking for two numbers who multiply together to give me 24 and whose sum is negative 11. Now, since this is positive 24 and this is negative 11, I'm looking for two negative numbers here, right? I need two numbers, because two negative numbers will have a product that's positive, but their sum will be negative. So the answer, of course, is negative 8 and negative 3. Negative 8 times negative 3 is 24. Negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11. So that's what goes in there. So negative 8 and negative 3. And if you multiply that all out, you will end up where you started. OK, that's it for this video. The next step, of course, is factoring quadratic trinomials where the coefficient of x squared is not 1. All right, until next time, have fun.